In the last video, we discussed the steps and the flowchart for a short sale. One of the very first items that we said would need to be completed would be a hardship letter. A hardship letter is going to be a handwritten letter from you to your lender outlining what has changed in the financial health of your household. And the financial health could have been affected temporarily, meaning um, job loss, but you're being rehired, a temporary sickness where maybe the health will in fact be recovering, uh, just some financial setbacks that uh, over time you could recover from, or could be more permanent such as um, terminal sickness, uh, permanent health conditions, could be divorce. Uh, what the hardship letter will make clear to your lender is why you're no longer able to make payments on your mortgage. And uh, the lender will only have this snapshot to look at as an example and a definition of what's going on in your life. So we want the hardship to be very clear. We want the hardship to express sincerely uh, what has happened, what has changed since the day that they approved you for the loan up to this point in time. Because they really and truly do not have any idea and the file for the short sale may in fact be touched by four or five of the lender's employees before it finally gets to the closure process. And one of the employees who I talked to on the phone, when it moves on, that new employee does not remember you and does not know the background that's happened. So this hardship letter may be one of the most important tools that we have in order to convince the lender that you are not a candidate to continue making those payments and that you do in fact need to secure a short sale.